Hello viewers, here is a very odd fin. This is a Lasco box fin, but it has the strangest combination of features I've ever seen. From the front, it generally looks like a 90s model with the standard D blade set and the logo up here in the corner, which I remember seeing these with the logo like that all over the place when I was younger, like back in the early 2000s these was everywhere. And so that all looks fine but then you move to the top and it has the more recent weather shield handle and control knob and it has the infamous fused plug which means this has to be at least into the early to mid 2000s it's got a wide cabinet and then here's where things start to get really strange it has the PSC motor, which I have never seen the PSC motor paired with this blade set. So what on earth is this? This is the Lasco 3723C. And I was told by the Super Fee and Mian that the C indicates it's a Canadian model. So it's a strange fee-in with an even stranger story because how on earth did a Canadian model make its way down here into the US? It's made in the USA and it also says it in French. I don't see a date stamp on here anywhere. It looks like that failed writing might have been the date stamp or what should have been the date stamp but it just doesn't exist. It's in pretty reasonable condition. The handle is yellow beyond all recognition yet everything else on the fan seems to be copacetic. It's a little bit dirty at the bottom. Looks like it might have maybe seen some rain or something for a little while. Sit out in a rainstorm perhaps and they're rusted there, but otherwise it's in pretty good shape. The cabinet's really quite clean and it's pretty good. Now I got this from a local store. It's the that store in the big barn next to that crummy store that I don't like. And I know in the past they used to keep some things outside, so this might have been outside. Uh, I paid 10 beans for it and that's pretty reasonable because you can't even get a brand new fan for even twice that anymore and this is certainly much better quality than whatever you can buy today. So I'm very interested to see how this performs because I have never seen the uh, shaded pole motor or the, the mar uh, fleur the PSC motor pair with this blade before which I would imagine is considerably heavier than the the D blade or the gee I'm screwing everything up tonight yeah, I would imagine this blade set is considerably heavier than the pedal blades that these motors were typically paired with I also would imagine that this will no longer have the nice slow low speed that these 90s models typically had. The performance will not be what it should be because the guard and the blades are both pretty dirty. They have a pretty good coating of dust on the, on the leading edge of the blade which is significant is a significant performance hindrance and there's definitely a fair bit of dust on the front guard. It appears to be horrifically out of balance. So that might be an issue. 
and fortunately this blade set doesn't look like it's too warped. I've noticed in the last couple of years these D blades are starting to warp which is a serious problem because I don't know how to fix that. So let's get this thing plugged in and give it a test. The fuse plug is kind of interesting. I don't know if this is what they all looked like in Canada or if this is what the early ones looked like. It's like clear, which is the blue inside. Alright, so that's off. I don't know if this works. I didn't test it there. I didn't imagine it probably does. We'll look at 118.7 the volts. We'll go over to the amps. And let's start it up on the low. Huh, it actually almost sounded like the the old 3733 that had the the pedal blades with the the Marco motor, the real early ones. And much to my surprise and to my delight, it's very quiet and has a nice slow low. But it's still pushing a tremendous amount of air. At least for the noise level anyways. It's not like blowing real hard, but I can feel it all the way across the room. And it's so quiet. Wow, this is a great fan. Huh. Very interesting. Alright, so our power draw is 0.62 amps, 79 watts, power factor 0.99. And also, much to my surprise, the blade feels like it's in almost perfect balance. It sure didn't seem like it was going to be. Well, that is really nice. Alright, let's go up to the two. Moves pretty good here. It's still quite reasonably quiet. I think this blade set was highly underrated. I think it was really quite good. And it blows out to the sides a little bit too. So when I stand back from it, you can really feel the air like several feet wide, much wider than the fan itself is. Okay, now we'll go to the high. I'll check the power first. That's 0.88 amps, 104 watts, the power factor of 1. So these motors really were much more reasonable in terms of power draw than the old shaded pole ones were. And now we have the 3. And it's... That's sturdy by itself without the feet. Jeez, this is exceptionally quiet. It's one of the quietest box fans I've ever used. And for the air move, it is really quite quiet. Now it's starting to shake a bit though. It's still not horrible, it's nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. And it's moving quite a good volume of air. Feel it at an angle from the fan. 
get it upwards a little bit. But if you stand right in front of it, you almost feel nothing. Which I guess is good because you feel more of the air, more of the air moving around the room in different places. Before I knew how to read properly, I used to thought that said invaders and home comfort. <laughs> Alright, so our power draw is 1.17 amps, so right where it said it should be. 129 watts for the power factor of 0.93. Seems like the bearings are still in pretty good shape. That's one thing I will give those little PSC motors. Very seldom do they lock up. Yeah, those bearings are perfectly free still. goes to like point you know one point two amps or so as it starts up it seems like the blade set is a pretty reasonable pair to this motor it doesn't seem underpowered at all I don't think that there's really much of a startup sound though yeah, I don't really hear anything the motor is, is pretty quiet let's try low ever so slightly but not much hey, even just sitting here on low in the back of it you can feel a tremendous volume of air going through the fan well this is a uh, this is a really pleasant surprise I think this thing is absolutely fantastic I can't believe how quiet it is I like quiet fans so this will definitely be one that I end up using quite a bit I'm really impressed with how quiet it is. And a very nice, quiet low, calm low, pretty good medium, and a forceful high. I don't think that this has quite the velocity that the original pedal blades had. But it definitely has a much higher volume movement. Very interesting fan. We may never know how it came down here, but I'm glad it did. <laughs>